Hey, this is Jennifer again, and I want to show you that add point of interest option inside of the tour creator. So in a previous video, I showed you how to add a scene. And the first scene of my tour of the Texas Revolution was the first battle of the revolution, which was the Battle of Gonzales. And so I added that 360 image of Gonzales. I added an audio file that said what happened at the battle. But the point of interest option is a way to embed an image, an additional audio file into a 360. So on that right hand side where we've been adding the information, there is a blue link that says add point of interest. And I'm going to select that. First thing I want to do is title my point of interest. And so I'm going to title it flag because we want to talk about the flag of this particular um, battle. So once I add the word flag, you'll notice that there is an eye that showed up on my 360 image. And that's where this information is going to go. So I can type in a description. I can add a picture. So I'm going to click add an image. I'm going to go off onto my desktop and get the image of the flag. And that's the image that I want. Click add. Then I'm also going to add an audio file. So I went to GarageBand and I recorded a little explanation of the flag of the battle, saved it as an MP3, and I'm going to pop that in as well. So now I have this image, I have an audio file, and then I can click outside of that image in the 360. It closes up and I can turn and pick another location to add another point of interest. So I'm going to go ahead and add one called Canon. Since we'll remember that the Canon was important in the Battle of Gonzales. Once I've typed in the name of my point of interest. I'm going to be able to add some information about it. I'm going to add a picture like I did with the flag. There's a picture of the cannon. I'm going to add that and then I'm going to also add an audio file that I had recorded about the cannon as well. So I'm going to add that. And I'm going to click one more time and add one more point of interest. Make sure that you click somewhere else in the picture so that they don't lay on top of each other. Notice I am clicking and dragging it away so that I can make that change. So this one is just going to be called Texas Settlers. Or no, I'm going to call it Texas Militia. And with this one, I don't have an audio file. I just have a picture that I want to add of the Texas settlers at the Battle of Gonzales. And I'm going to click Add. So I've added three points of interest inside this 360 image. So if you look at the 360 image, there are three little icons that I could drill down in. So let's publish this and see what that looks like. Remember, I wanted it unlisted, but we want to see it from the perspective of someone watching our tour because this mode we're in right now is edit mode and we want to actually visit the tour. So once it loads, I can take my cursor, click and drag and move it around to look at Texas Square and notice that's where those icons of images are. So I'm going to click that first one and it pops up and shows me the image of the settlers. If I pop over to the flag one or the cannon and turn on my audio, for my narration, remember the gear, turn on. The cannon that sparked the skirmish that became the Battle of Gonzales can be seen in the Gonzales Memorial Museum in Gonzales, Texas. And we haven't seen the flag, so I'm going to click flag. 
A commonly seen image from the Texas Revolution is the come and take it flag from the Battle of Gonzales. This flag, which is white with black lettering and a black picture of a cannon, was flown to dare the Mexican government to come take back the cannon that they had given to the settlers. So I know you've gotten way more Texas history today than you have wanted, but I love this feature because not only can we drop our people into a 360 image tour, but I can also add these pictures and audio files to kind of dig deeper into an activity. So with any kind of history or battle or war or current event or historical event, this would be a great way for students to synthesize and show their knowledge about a topic. But think also of the power of telling us narrative story. Maybe they've read a historical novel and they want to retell the story and tell us where things happened with the student or with the um, characters rather. And then your students can record those audio tracks, make their own pictures or get pictures from the internet or take, take pictures or draw them and create this really robust experience traveling across the globe as well as embed this information. So I think this is an amazing tool that you can use with your students um, that you can create for your students to view, but more powerful if your students are creating the themes and the tours around things that they are learning in your class. I hope you love Tour Creator as much as I do. Expect, expect a blog post coming out pretty soon that ties all this information together. Have a great day.